Alright, so I want to preempt this right now. I mentioned this some time ago at the treehouse and Sundance found it interesting. And now talking to Sayo Palani on my video here uh, re brought it up back for me in a sense. If this is from the redacted uh, witness and evidence list that came out before the big evidence came out. And if you look down here at the what's attached to the to the state's evidence list, uh, we have here cell phone records, including text messages, notes, photos, videos, etc., of George Zimmerman's. Notice the dates. Pay attention to the dates. March 7th, 2012 to March 22nd, 2012. Why those dates? Why not the dates immediately after the shooting? That's interesting. Because if you look at this date, I like this date. This date is when the first official... I shouldn't say official. The first mainstream story of George was printed in Reuters. With the false racial bullshit narrative and all the other elements of the case that was sold to the public. Right. Once Reuters published it, that was it. Everyone started picking it up after that. Funny how they pick it up from that date and want to see what George has to say on his little text messages and, and such. So what I want to preempt is, is that if, if, because what I believe what they're looking for is signs of racism, if there is racism, and as I've said this before, or some racist remarks made during this timeline, I would not be surprised. It would not shock me in the least. As a matter of fact, if there's not any anything that may be taken as racist remarks by George during this time, I would be surprised. <laughs> okay? So I'm preempting this right now because it's it'll get blown out of out of uh, proportion, of course. I mean, if they're, they're going to do it with the punks, coons thing, when they see something uh, really racist in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, what they're, what's funny, though, is that why didn't they do that before or in the days following of? Interesting. Why do they do it when all the heat's coming down on him on the from the world? <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what we'll see. But and I think that's why they're bringing it in. I don't think that they're bringing it in for uh, any other reason but that. I mean, but they got to be careful because, like I said, if uh, you know they're gonna try it, unless they're trying to show it as for well, I don't know. I'll we'll see when it comes out. Just to let you know that that is not in that last. Of course, we would have heard about it. We would have heard about it, but nothing is in the last. Uh, you know that big information dump hopefully we'll get another one here soon and if so that'll probably be in there what I really want is like the <laughs> I want George Zimmerman's statements that's for sure and I want uh, uh, the incident report of the first 911 call and other things but okay but you also notice what's also lacking here too well, I get the cell phone records of the victim but yeah what about the other stuff did he send any text messages in those last moments? I got the records, but we don't have the actual mention of Trayvon's text messages and such in those last moments. Why not? That seems important to me. But look at what they got the sound felt records from here. Look at that. That's interesting. Hmm. Well... That'll be that for now. So peace out, my brothers, sisters, and everyone in between.